when you focus on the breath, remind yourself this is your place of normalcy. We tend to think of this as something outside the norm, being quiet like this. But this is when the mind really is at normalcy, when it's still in the present moment. The problem is that our culture has cultivated other things in the mind, multitasking and running around, jumping around, taking in all kinds of things all at once. And the mind doesn't have a chance to be by itself, to gather its thoughts to gather its awareness. So on the one hand, you have to learn how not to go jumping after what the culture tells you to. And then you realize, okay, even without that, the mind does have this tendency to go looking for things. And so you've got to decide what's worth looking for and what's not. And if you're coming out of a still place, it's a lot easier to see what kind of thoughts and emotions are worth following, which ones are worth just letting go. You have to learn how to be more in charge of your mind. And that's what the meditation does. It gives you a handle on this. It gives you a good, comfortable place to stay so that when the temptation comes up to go running off, you can look at it without a sense of hunger and without a sense of boredom, saying, gee, I need something, and just whatever comes by you, just jump at it. You don't want that, because you can end up jumping at a lot of really bad things. But you want to be in a position where you can see, okay, this is worthwhile and this is not. And that way you're more in control of the mind, you're more in control of your life. So try to make this your basic stance, because you're going to stay here with the present moment, with lots of goodwill for yourself, goodwill for other beings, but also the equanimity to realize that not everything that's interesting is worth following. It's like getting on the internet, you, get and you start going to this link, and then there's that link, and then there's this link, and then you end up in Nigeria. I mean, you know what people in Nigeria are like? They want to get your money. Well, there's a lot of that all over the world. And there's a lot of that in the mind, too. The places where you go that are going to harm you, the places where you go that are going to leave you with less than what you started out with. So you've got to learn how to stay right here, right here, and then choose when you need to go, when you need to think, okay, you go because you have a good reason. That way you're a lot safer. So try to make this your basic stance, this your place of normalcy, the place where you normally hang out. And you find that your life goes a lot better.